In this tutorial, you will learn how to deploy a web or mobile application with Appian from Power Builder. The key steps we will follow are to perform a full deployment of the Power Builder source code, analyze for any unsupported Power Builder features. Unsupported Power Builder features are features that are not supported in a web or mobile target with Appian. We will test and debug the web and or mobile application. If any problems are found, we will leverage the Appian help. And we will update the source code, perform an incremental deployment to update the analysis report as well as the resulting web or mobile application. We will open the Power Builder IDE. It is important to run Power Builder as an administrator. We will click the Deploy button and we'll locate the application we wish to deploy, in this case, test. The first time you deploy any application, you must deploy as a full application. Thereafter, you may do incremental deploys. Make sure the Generate Unsupported Features Analysis Report has been checked, and click Next. This will deploy your Power Builder web and or mobile application to the server and it will generate the analysis report. You can click the analysis report to view it. And the analysis report will list any unsupported features in your application. It will list the unsupported code where it can be found in the application, including the line number, the unsupported item that was found, and in some cases, the unsupported feature can simply be ignored and does not have to be removed from the application. The report that is generated can be saved in various formats, such as XML, HTML or Excel so you can share with your colleagues. At any time, the report may be accessed by clicking on the third icon, the Analyze icon. Now we will need to test and debug our web or mobile application. In this case, I have deployed a universal application, and so we will first begin testing the web target, and then we will proceed to the mobile target. You will type in the URL for the application and we will verify that the application is properly working. We will also test the mobile target. We may test the mobile target in the Appian emulator or on a real mobile device. It is always strongly recommended to test on an actual mobile device but in this case, for the purpose of the tutorial, we will look at the Appian emulator. Simply click Run, select the application, select the project loader, either a tablet or a smartphone, and click Run. And this will load the application and render the mobile user interface. Most mobile functionalities will work in the emulator, but not all. For example, hardware-specific functionalities such as GPS and barcode scanning will not work in the emulator. We can see that the application is working properly. In the event that something is not working properly, we will want to debug the application by opening up the Appian debugger. We simply click the Appian Debugger icon, select the application that has been deployed in a debug mode, and click OK. This will open up the Appian Debugger, which will allow us to debug this in the same manner you would debug a typical Power Builder application. If you find any problems in your source code, 
we recommend you leverage the Appian Help. The Appian Help has a number of documentations, and probably the most useful will be the supported Power Builder features for the web and mobile targets. We can expand and look at the tree view, which lists various topics. For example, we can take a look at the controls, the unsupported controls, and for any supported controls, clicking the name will take you to the properties, events, and functions. For the properties, events, and functions, every single item is listed, including if it's supported or if it's unsupported. We can also search for an unsupported feature by typing in the feature name and clicking list topics. It will find all instances of the search word and you can sort by location to find the right document. For example, the supported Power Builder features. Double clicking will take you to the section in the documentation and you can see the search word has been highlighted. This particular feature is unsupported. Now what we will do is remove the unsupported feature. We will click Save and we will perform an incremental deployment of the application which will update the analysis report and it will update the web and mobile application on the server. Clicking on the analysis report will show you that your application contains no unsupported features. And this concludes the Appion tutorial for deploying your Appion web and mobile applications.